Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Asimatic. today we have really interesting, I would say like quick and tricky relaxing question, 5 to the power x equal to x, if you have your own solution, your answer, you can easily write your solution down into the comment section, and we will check your answers here in just few minutes, so it will be, it will be really interesting, but right now let's, let's start. First of all, let's apply natural log on both sides, because then this x will come down right here, so let's do this, our first step is to apply natural log, let's do the thing right now, so we have natural log of 5 to the power x, we apply it on the left side, and we're gonna apply it on the right side, so natural log of, of x. Right now, as I told before, this is the main log property, this x will come down right here, okay? As a result, what do we have? We have x times natural log 5 equal to natural log natural log x. Right now, let's try to group as a constant on the left or on the right side, so let's separate our constant and our variables. For this, let's divide both sides by x. When we divide both sides by x, we can easily cancel this from the left side, so as a result, what do we have right here? We have x times natural log 5, we divide by x, and we have natural log x over x, okay? And right now, we can easily cancel this natural log, uh, this x from our left side, okay? As a result, we have natural log 5 equal to natural log x over x, but let's change position. Let's write this one on the left side, because we prefer our variables on the left side. As a result, we have natural log x over x equal to natural log 5. This is our first step. We just separate it, we just write our variables on the left side and our constant on the right side. Right now we need to know a really great function. This function is called this Lambert W function, so this function looks like that. I think that a lot of you know about this function because I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel about this function, but maybe this is like if you're a new user on my channel, you can easily see this explanation, okay? So for example, imagine if you have a times e to the power a, when we apply Lambert W function from this expression, as a result we have only only a. So just look at this example. For example, we have 3 times e to the power 3. When we apply Lambert W function from here, this is equal to 3. So what do we need from here? We need the same expression right here and the same expression right here as a power of e and we need to have e. So right now on the left side, let's try to create the great expression for us and then we will apply Lambert W function. But on the left side, we don't have e, we have fraction, so we need to create this expression. First of all, let's try to create e. How can we do this? Nature log x, we can't express in terms of e, it's it's it, it's not e, not e the thing for us, but in the same way, this x can be written as e to the power natural log x. It's much better for us to express this x, not this natural log x. So instead of this x, let's write e to the power natural log x. Okay, let's do this. Instead of x, we're gonna write this one, which is absolutely the same thing. As a result, we have natural log x divided by e to the power natural log x equal to natural log 5. Okay, right now we prefer this e in our numerator, so let's bring our uh, our expression e to the power natural log x from our denominator to numerator, but we need to put minus, okay? Don't forget about this, because if we have, for example, 1 over a to the power b, when we, re when we bring it from our denominator to numerator, we need to write it as a to the power minus b, so don't forget about this minus, okay? Let's do this thing right now, as a result we have natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x, equal to natural log, natural log 5. Really great. Right now, if you look closely, we have a really great expression for applying Lambert W function. We have natural log x, we have minus natural log x, we have e. So it looks like this is a great expression for us to apply Lambert W function. But we have e, we have e. Really great. But in the same way, we have natural log x, and in the power we have minus natural log x. So this is completely different constant. So one and only one thing that we need to do right here is to multiply both sides by minus 1. When we multiply both sides by minus 1, or divide or multiply, doesn't matter. We, right here we have minus, okay, because we multiply on both sides. As a result, we have minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log 5, okay? So we just multiply on both sides by by minus 1. And so now if we follow closely, what do we have right here? Minus natural log x, for example, in our minds, in our head, let's call this as a. We have e and we have the same expression as right here, so we have minus natural log x and we have minus natural log x right here, so this is the same a. So this is a great moment to apply Lambert W function because we have a times e to the power a, which is absolutely brilliant for us. Let's do the thing right now, so we have Lambert W function of minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x and equal to, don't forget over right here, we need to apply Lambert W function of minus natural log, minus natural log 5. 
Okay, really great. And as I told before, we have right here a, we have right here a, so when we apply lambda w function from this expression on the left side, as a result, we will have only our minus nature log x. So on the left side, we have only minus nature log x equal to, right here we have lambda w function of minus nature log, nature log 5. Really great. Right now we need to find our x. We don't we don't have like a complicated expression right now. We have only natural log on our left side and we have a constant because we a lambda w function of a constant, it's a constant. So it's really great. Don't be scared about this about this right side. But how can we find our our x? First of all, let's multiply both sides by minus one. Or let's divide both sides by minus one. Doesn't matter. We can easily cancel this minus from here. So let's do this. We have natural log x equal to minus lambda w function of minus natural log 5. And right now we need to find our x. We have natural log x, but we need to find our x. According to the main log property, when we have natural log, it's really great for applying base of e on both sides. So just look closely, what do we have right here? When we apply base of e on left side with this power natural log x, we need to do the same thing on the right side. So base of e with this power minus lambda w function of minus natural log nature log 5 but e to the power nature log x let's look right here okay e to the power nature log x equal to equal to x so this is our uh, x on the left side so we have x equal to e to the power minus lambda w function of minus nature log 5 but it's much better for us to bring this with the minus power to have a denominator okay it's much better for us let's do the thing right now so we have right here x equal to 1 over e to the power lambda w function of minus nature log nature log 5. This is our answer to this question. This is our this is our x according to according to Lambert W function. But I was wondering uh, before this video, I was wondering because I want to write approximately answer for you, okay? Uh, I wanted to find this approximately value. I want to find this approximately answer because it's much easier for you. It's much better for you to see this approximately answer, like uh, one point something, two point something. Yeah, it's much e it's much interesting for you to see this approximately answer. But uh, it's it was really really great thing for me because uh, right here lambda w function of minus nature log 5 so let's write the thing right here so lambda w function of minus nature log 5 does not exist okay does not does not exist in terms of in terms of real numbers so in terms of in terms of real numbers this thing does not does not exist so lambda w function of this expression does not exist and it means that this value lambda w function of minus nature log 5 is a complex is a complex uh, value okay and if you're talking about the final answer e to the power complex value so uh, if you're raising e to the complex power thing in other words yeah we will have like a complex complex truth because all the time right here we have E. So we can easily say that because of this lambda w function of minus nature log 5 in terms of real numbers does not exist, so it means that this is our complex complex solution. So this is our complex complex truth. And after this, after after look at this um, at this uh, solution, I uh, plug in this uh, question in terms of geometry. I plug in this question in Internet Math Library, uh, and uh, I see a really interesting moment because uh, our graphs doesn't have a point of intersection. Right now we can easily see this. You can see this at uh, both graphs, and uh, this is um, clear right now. This is uh, uh, clear and understandable for us because these graphs does not intersect with each, with each other. In the beginning we have 5 to the x exponential function equal to x equal to linear function and we're here we can see that we don't have our point of our points of intersection so we can easily see that one and only one root and this is a complex complex root. Let's write our final answer to this question. So a lot of students like to see this geometric perspective yeah so we have our answer x equal to 1 over e to the power lambda w function of minus nature log nature log 5 this root is complex 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 root it means that um, it means that 5 to the x does not intersect with this with this function with this with this x so 5 to the x this exponential function does not does not uh, does not intersect inter intersect with 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 x, okay, with y equal to x. So if you're talking about geometric perspective, 5 to the x does not intersect with this function, and in the same way, uh, x equal to 
this question, which is a complex number. So this is my explanation to this question. This is my solution. I hope you understand it. I hope you learn something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you solve this challenge uh, with me, like if you pause the video and solve this challenge by yourself, oh, this is really great uh, question. And don't be don't be scared. Don't be scared about this answer because this is like a number w function. But in the same way, as you can see, we don't find this in terms of real numbers. So we this is our complex root. It happens sometimes. Okay. So this is my explanation to this challenge. Thank you everyone for your support. Thank you everyone for your response. Thank you for your comments and see you in the next videos. Have a great day and thank you for your support.